You might know Kelly Pickler from feel-good films like Christmas at Graceland and The Mistletoe Secret, but the Hallmark star's life has been anything but festive. Some of the most memorable alumni of American Idol are those who not only launched successful music careers after the show, but also overcame incredible personal odds to make it on in the first place. Kelly Pickler stands out among them. The country singer from small-town North Carolina became an instant favorite with viewers in season five, as much for her hard luck backstory as for her impressive vocal chops. She faced tough competition from Katherine McPhee, Taylor Hicks, and Chris Daughtry, but she finished a respectable sixth. I just knew from a, a young age that I want to live on a tour bus and write songs and sing my little songs to whoever will listen. From there, Pickler went on to join the ranks of Adam Lambert, Jennifer Hudson, and Clay Aiken as an idle non-winner success story. Her first solo album, Small Town Girl, sold nearly a million copies. In addition to her singing career, she won the coveted Mirrorball Trophy on Dancing with the Stars in 2013. She also played featured roles in three Hallmark movies. Pickler is one of the lucky ones. If not for Idol, she might have been destined for a lifetime of poverty, and her traumatic childhood could have resulted in regrettable life choices. Instead, she made the most of her sudden fame, and even drew on her personal pain to write poignant songs like I Wonder and Mother's Day. The star's courage in the face of adversity inspires fans to this day. A native of Albemarle, North Carolina, Pickler's childhood was straight out of a soap opera. Her mother, Cynthia Morton, was a teen mom who left her family when Pickler was two years old. Her father, Clyde Pickler, had substance abuse issues and was frequently in jail. Pickler told The Boot, he was always in trouble with the law, always. So it was a battle to have to go and visit him in the penitentiary as a child. But that was so normal for me. Looking at it now as an adult, that's not normal. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Pickler was raised by her grandparents. She was particularly close to her grandmother, Faye Pickler, whom she credits with encouraging her love of singing. Faye was the inspiration for the song My Angel, which includes the lyrics, You were like my mother, you were my best friend. Faye died of lung cancer when Pickler was just 15. The singer once told Guideposts, If I thought I knew what emptiness felt like before, I was wrong. In 2006, Clyde was released from prison once again. Pickler tried to reconnect with him briefly, but it wasn't long before he was incarcerated once more, and the two lost touch. Her father died in 2019, and her grandfather, Clyde Sr., died three years later. Pickler briefly went back to live with her mother, Cynthia Morton, when she was 10. It was hardly a heartwarming reunion. Sometimes when you open the door and you've you think Santa Claus is going to be there, nothing is there. And that's happened to Kelly. At one point during a fight, her mom even encouraged her to take her own life. Speaking with Us Weekly, Pickler shared, Of course, I would never have acted upon it, but it's done a lot of emotional scarring. After two years, Pickler's grandparents successfully sued for custody on the ground Cynthia was an unfit guardian. Cynthia has denied being abusive to her daughter. In an interview with the Charlotte Observer, she defended her decision to leave her family, explaining that she was escaping a violent relationship. Her subsequent marriages were no healthier. At one point, she was beaten so severely she needed surgery. She insisted, I'm not as bad as they say, I just made bad choices. Only after seeing Pickler on American Idol did Cynthia realize her daughter was becoming famous. Although Morton reached out to Pickler, the two have never reconnected. In 2008, the singer told People, I'll never have a relationship with Cynthia or the relationship with my father that I want. You need to grieve, be hurt and angry, and cry. Then you gotta get over it. Just before the 2007 Country Music Awards, Pickler discovered her mother was giving TV interviews about her. She recalled, I hadn't seen her in years. I felt like, tonight I'm good enough? It really hurt. During the broadcast, Pickler broke down in sobs as she performed I Wonder. Her healing came in the form of support from her friends, her work, and her relationship with songwriter Kyle Jacobs, whom she married on the first day of 2011. I just locked eyes. And I went, I gotta know everything about this person. Pickler and Jacobs seemed to have an unbreakable bond in and out of the studio. Jacobs co-produced his wife's hit single, Feeling Tonight, and helped co-write some of her songs, including Mother's Day, a heart-wrenching song of regret over her lack of a healthy mother-daughter relationship. They also shared some of their personal adventures with viewers on the reality series, I Love Kelly Pickler. Pickler described the show to Entertainment Weekly as I Love Lucy meets friends. For me, my, my greatest treasure 
um, is my best friend and my best friend is my husband. Then Pickler's life took another heartbreaking turn. On February 17, 2023, Jacobs died by suicide in their Nashville home. An autopsy report showed no sign of drugs in his system, though it did indicate other medical issues such as alcohol use and pseudo seizures. After Jacob's death, Pickler stepped out of the spotlight. Her last Instagram post was in May 2022, and her Facebook page still features a photo of the couple as her profile picture. Pickler posted her last tweet in December 2022. After Jacob's death, Pickler told People, One of the most beautiful lessons my husband taught me was in a moment of a crisis, if you don't know what to do, do nothing, just be still. I have chosen to heed his advice. The singer disappeared from her Sirius XM gig, where she had hosted the Highway Show every weekday afternoon. A new host was announced in April 2023, with no mention of Pickler's absence. Some sources have reported her contract simply ran out, while others note that the timing of her on-air departure coincided with Jacob's death. No concerts, new music, or USO tours are on the schedule for Pickler at the moment. However, there is one sad item on her agenda, selling her Nashville home. Pickler bought the house in 2010, a year before her wedding. It's where the couple filmed their reality show, and it's also where Jacobs ended his life. Why do you think a ghost would want to be in this house? Because we're fun. Maybe he just wants to hang out. It's been rumored the Hallmark star hasn't been able to stay in the house since his death. If you or someone you know is struggling or in crisis, help is available. Call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org.